Hi, and welcome back. In this quick start lesson, you'll learn how to create playback for your music app using Chain in Protopie. Having a playback feature is crucial for music apps. Today, we'll improve our music app experience by adding this feature. As the song plays, the playback fill will dynamically expand. Plus, you can effortlessly control the song by dragging the knob left or right. Let's open our starting pie. You'll see we already have some interactions done. Let's preview. You can easily play or resume the song by pressing the play, pause button. The prototype is working seamlessly. What we want is to add animation to the playback feature. Whenever the song is playing, the playback will dynamically adjust to reflect the current timestamp. So the interactions will be triggered by any changes to the song's current timestamp. We'll use a chain trigger to do that. A chain trigger allows the changes of a property of one layer to change the property of another layer. Add a chain trigger to your panel and select the music layer's time property. When the music's current time changes, it triggers the responses under the newly created chain trigger. To make the playback knob move when the song plays, simply add a move response to the knob layer. What this does is make sure that the knob responds in real time as the song plays. You'll notice that you can configure a mapping setting for the responses underneath the chain trigger. The mapping shows what affects what. Here, it tells us that changes in the music's layer's time property will affect the move of the knob. Next up is setting the range. The first column is the trigger's range. For our case, we can set the range for the music file's duration. And the second and third columns make up a position range for the knob. To ensure the playback knob moves from far left to far right as the music plays from start to finish, you'll need to fill in the time range. This creates a seamless and intuitive experience for your users. Pro tip time. You can simply click the music layer so that the audio length will appear in the property panel. Now, let's focus on the position of the knob. Since the knob only moves horizontally, leave the y-axis empty and fill the x range from 0 to 327. With this configuration, the knob's x position will be 0 when the song starts playing and 327 when it finishes. Protopie automatically generates the animation between these two values, resulting in a smooth transition. Let's do a quick preview. With these changes in place, you'll notice that the knob moves in sync with the music as it plays. In addition to the playback knob movement, we'll also make the playback fill grow as the song progresses. To achieve this, add a scale response to the fill layer underneath the chain trigger. Use the same time range values and set the fill layer's width range to 0 to 327. This will ensure that the playback fill expands smoothly as the song plays. Let's preview again. You'll notice that both the fill layer and the knob move in sync as the song plays. Plus, if you hit the pause button, the playback will stop as well. The changes should result in a more seamless and user-friendly music app experience. A standard feature for most music apps is the ability to manually control playback by dragging the knob left or right. Let's make this possible in our app as well. Add a drag trigger and a move response to the knob itself. Limit the knob's movement to the 0 to 327 range to keep it in sync with the song. You can now drag the knob and adjust the playback position to any point in the song you like. To make the playback experience even better, we can expand the fill layer according to the knob's position when dragged. Again, let's use the chain trigger. Add one to the knob and select its X property by default. Then add a scale response to the fill layer. Set a range of zero to 327 to the X of the knob and the same range for the fill layer's width. To simplify things, we can remove the scale response under the first chain. Since the knob's movement now controls the fill layer scaling when the song plays, we don't need the song's current time to control it anymore. Let's preview the prototype again. Now we can drag the knob left or right to adjust the playback position to our liking. And guess what? The fill layer expands dynamically as we drag the knob too. But hold on, we have a small issue here. 
When the knob is released after dragging, the song doesn't seek to the timestamp we want. Don't worry, we can fix this with one final adjustment. Let's use the touch-up trigger. Add a touch-up trigger to the knob. Then add a playback response to the music layer. Select Seek as our action. Seek is used to find a specific point in any media file, such as audio, video, or Lottie animations. In the Seek 2 section, we'll use a formula. Don't worry, we'll only be doing simple math here. To calculate the progress of the song, divide the width of the fill layer by the width of the track layer. This gives us a percentage of the current progress. Multiply this percentage by the total length of the song to get the timestamp. The playback UI already visually represents this calculation, making it easy to implement. Open the formula editor. Click the plus icon on the right side. Pick the fill layer. Press the dot symbol on the keyboard to reveal the fill layer's available properties and pick width. We want to divide the fill layer's width by the track layer's width, so press the forward slash on your keyboard. It means divide by. Click the plus icon again and choose the track layer then another dot. Do this one last time for the music layer and its total time property. Now let's do a final preview. You've just created a fully interactive and seamless music app experience. Good job and see you in the next one.